Hi, welcome to my video. And I've entitled this video, Big Butt Trucks. No, it's not what you're thinking. What is a big butt truck? Well, most of the time it's the 18 wheeler, it's the school bus, it's the city bus, it's the mail truck, it's UPS you're driving behind, it's the suburbans, it's the expeditions. You know, the vehicles that's hard to see around or over while you're driving behind them. It's just frustrating. And if you're an owner of such a vehicle or you're a truck driver, please, this is not a personal attack against you. This is here is my way of venting, getting the frustration out, and getting to share it with you. Because I think there's a lot of you others out there who feel the same way. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video as I had an opportunity to do some filming while we had some bad weather. So I took advantage of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And oh, by the way, please be a subscriber or at least rate the video. You know, if, if you've never, never made videos, you, you really have no idea the frustration, the, the time it takes, and the equipment you have to buy. So please, if you don't want to be a subscriber, that's fine. But, but at least rate the video or, or comment or something, okay? So I know you're watching it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. We're continuing our big butt truck series as you can see when you're falling behind an SUV expedition you really just cannot look around them there's no way around them you can't see in front of you, you can't see hardly to the side of you big butt big butt big butt truck you know people complain because gas prices are high and you know, sort of the blame is on these vehicles that's got these large gas tanks. Even the Trailblazers. Yes. You're an SUV. You're a big butt truck. Nobody can't see around you either. Not only do big butt trucks get in your way and you're trying to drive, they occasionally spit on you too when you're riding behind them. They have no clue that they're done. So if you catch yourself behind a big butt truck, you know there's only one thing to do. Put on that blinker and say, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. See what I mean? You cannot see around this person. You can barely see the light. If it wasn't for the fact that I wasn't six foot tall, sitting in this car I would not be able to see the light in front of me because of the big butt truck in front of me I'm really surprised there's not more complaints about this type of issue maybe it's not an issue to you but I find it an issue and the problem's not gonna go away it's just something we have to deal with and I understand that I ain't I'm not Big butt trucks. Big butt trucks. This here is a perfect example of this car in front of me. You cannot get around the vehicle in front of you. See, move over to the left lane or the right lane and stay there. You know, speaking of vehicles, I don't know which one's more dumber either own or drive I don't understand people's mindset why would you want to have a vehicle that drinks a lot of gas now before you go out there pointing the finger at me let me just tell you this I have truck driver friends and have relatives that drive trucks it's again it's nothing personal against you or my family but I simply just don't appreciate having to drive behind big butt trucks like yours. I think you should be on the road a certain time of day, preferably about between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. when nobody's, you know, most Americans at home asleep. 
are getting up. I think it'll take some time to, to get a system like that in place, but I really believe if we would take the opportunity to route the trucking, regulate it, I really think a lot of more people will be happy. Now that's dealing with the trucks, the 18-wheelers. see this red car here is stuck behind a truck now what a horrible feeling that is unless somebody will let this person over or even if they won't over they're stuck looking at your big butt truck big butt truck that's right homies your big butt truck and again I just want to point out this video is just for entertainment purposes only I'm just choosing to vent a subject that irks me while driving and I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that shares the same feelings and uh, if you're like me at the work you want to get home big bud big bud big bud truck the SUV owner is not exempt either I don't know why they make such vehicles that you cannot see around or over or through. Again, another example of what trucks do to traffic. This takes up possibly two car lengths on a highway. And again, I realize we need trucking. I just think that trucking needs to be regulated or have its own highway system on the highways. You got your HOV lanes where only cars where two passengers can go down that one lane. Well, there needs to be a truck only lane. We're continuing our big butt truck series. As you can see, when you're falling behind an SUV expedition, you really just cannot look around them. There's no way around them. You can't see in front of you. You can't see hardly to the side of you. So, reminds me we're living in a, a day and age we're talking about going green right I mean they're wanting to conserve the plastic bags they're wanting to make electric cars you know they're wanting you to go green well how come they don't want to go green on the big butt trucks why not make them smaller where people can look around them get around them why well, ain't got to keep them big and bulky and ugly for it Think about it. Shrink them down. You make them another truck. Make them smaller. Make the load smaller. You'll give Billy a job who's sitting at home unemployed right now. Yes, of course it'll put more trucks on the road, but they'll be smaller, economical, go green, and people will have jobs. And there won't be so much so-called unemployment. Well, as you can see, everybody's gonna have different opinions about different things, so. One thing I like about this video, and this channel, is I'm able to express my opinion and vent. And man, I tell you what, it feels good knowing I'm venting. 